Can't believe I snuck into his house to surprise him. I still have a few clothes left here. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. What's this? This bra is definitely too big for me. What the? Wait a minute. Is he, is he cheating on me? Hello beautiful minds, welcome to my channel. I am Saika and today I'd like to share with you my experience and thoughts about re-wearing my old fat clothes. Being fat most of my life, I've literally learned the art of covering my fat in order to look flattering. But before we proceed to the actual video, I would just like to give you guys an idea of my own personal style. Basically, anything that's not plain. <laughs> so nothing plain whites, no plain shirts, etc, etc. I usually love color, I love something floral, anything that has prints, and definitely something with a pop of color. That's essentially my style. Also, because I didn't plan this video way, way back, I did donate some of my clothes already, especially the start of the pandemic so I'll link down below where I donated my clothes if you guys want to donate anything from clothes to furniture or whatever you can donate it there anyways today I'm going to be wearing some of my old clothes or what's left of them and share with you my thoughts and feelings about how I see them now that I'm in a smaller body without further ado let's get into it clothing item number one bottoms. For the most part, I don't really have jeans. I have what we call jeggings. Yes, jeans plus leggings. Jeggings. They're all high-waisted and all stretchable jeggings too. I also have some big and loose bottoms and even my shorts are the stretchable ones. So why do I like these sorts of bottoms when I was Fat. So number one for proportionality purposes. So I have a big lower tummy, but my limbs compared to the rest of my body were smaller. So the reason why I like these stretchable jeans or bottoms was because they could just cling onto my body and you know go with my shape instead of me trying to adjust the shape of the jeans. And I also liked because they clung to my legs and I have smaller legs, so it accentuates my legs and therefore makes me look smaller. And number two, it's just more comfortable. So with jeggings or loose bottoms and shorts, it's easier to move, to bend around and do things with them. And since they're light, uh, it's easier to move just overall. And I also like that they were high-waisted because they compress my tummy because my lower tummy was really the problem area. Um, so yeah, it just compressed that and had the illusion that I was smaller. Although I really wasn't, but it just helped with thinking that I looked smaller because my fat was more compressed. So what were the problems? Um, definitely the waistband folding. Since it's stretchable and it's garterized, it folds, especially since my tummy was my problem again, so it would roll down. And because the material of these bottoms were thin, it just highlighted some lumps and bumps along the way. Yes, I would definitely not buy these kinds of jeggings again like this one it just becomes like loose very quick overall it just looks bad in the long run so i wouldn't buy this again clothing item number two tops all my shirts have sleeves in them and they should at least reach my lower tummy region to cover the jeans or the bottoms and also just to make it longer you know when you're fat you have a compulsion to cover the biggest areas of your body and mine was my tummy so I would just pull it down. I just have that compulsion. I still do. So yeah, it's something I'm still trying to, um, you know, change. But yeah, it's there. This is one of my favorite shirts of all time. Like I used to wear this all the time. And because it's so thin and breathable, so I wouldn't sweat in it as much. So I definitely love this one. I would definitely buy this again in a smaller size because I love the prints and yeah, it's just so, it's just so me. 
color wise they're all very colorful so everything and anything except plain white like it's a rule of thumb for all people do not wear white because you just look fatter so no whites for me but i still wore them because hey i don't care i was freaking confident at that time i guess so still wore them sometimes mind you and in terms of fit they were definitely more loose um, none, none were fitting to my body at all. I also don't wear button-down shirts because when you wear button-downs, they tend to pull at the sides, right? Because it's zipped in the middle or it's being buttoned in the middle. So I don't wear them because it might show some serious tummy cleavage. And because I'm busty, they also will just show some pure cleavage. And we do not want that happening. <laughs> So that's a no for me. But I do like wearing tops that accentuate this, the babies right here because it also keeps the eyes off my tummy and more over here. But nothing too racy or nothing too out of there. I also have a few sleeveless crop tops, like three of them, but I use them rarely and they're usually under a jacket or something is put over them. Clothing item number three dresses oh girl they're definitely my ultimate go-to clothing item because they're e the easiest to put on because it's just one item of clothing and that's it you're done and sometimes you know you have lazy days or when i was busy in college um you know i still like to dress up but when i was busy i didn't want to think about what i was gonna wear and what would look flattering on me on the few tops and bottoms that i had so i just put in a dress and called it a day so that was it so yeah this is definitely my go-to dress i love wearing this dress it's just so cute and light and open i use this so frequently it's so now but like this already tore open a few times but now it's sewn up but yeah uh, I overuse this dress all the time. Like I used to wear this all the time and my friends would hold on. I love this. Like I love the color so much. I love the prints. And guys, come on, it has pockets. So it's been a six-year dress. I don't know. I still love this. I love the material of it so much. It's edgy but classy. You know, it's everything I like in a sort of a sort of formal dress or something. Or semi-formal garb. In terms of dresses, what I would like is something that was cinched at the waist and then it would flare out at the bottom. So it's usually garterized in the middle and then it flares out. So it gives an illusion that I have a smaller waist and it also accentuates, again, my top area. But it flares out so it doesn't show my tummy and the lumps in that area. Again, with the garterized middle so that it cinches at my waist and maybe looks smaller before. All of them are again with sleeves and some of them were off shoulder but again with long sleeves attached to them. If they were sleeveless, I would just put jackets or coats over them. This is my favorite romper and it's also because I love the material. It's velvet. It, it doesn't really highlight my flaps and also because of the color of this one. But it makes it just straight, I guess, or like flat looking. I mean, I used to wear this almost every day. Okay, this is definitely my favorite dress. I call it the sundress. I wore this so many times, especially my last year in college. And it used to really fit me like a glove, like I was really like this. It really fit my tummy. I seriously do love this dress. I still love it now. I really want to alter it. it lo I love how it looks on my skin, especially with the yellow. Um, so much memories with this dress. And that brings us to our fourth clothing item, which is jackets, coats, sweaters, and hoodies. I love them. They are like my ultimate secret to hiding the fat. I love collecting coats, jackets, what have you. I have all kinds of colors, all kinds of designs, materials, from denim to cotton to the super colorful ones to the plain ones. Girl, I have all of them. And I love collecting them because I'm a person who gets cold easily. But aside from that, it was it just really helped that it could also cover my fat. And they were also the most convenient to buy because there are a lot of big jackets. And there was a time that it was a trend to buy like three times your size. So there were so many jackets and, and coats available that were way big and could fit me. So it was the easiest one to buy and I love collecting them. They were so cute. They are still so cute. And I definitely love my jackets. I have a lot of them in my wardrobe right there. I obviously have a flair for the dramatics. My family calls this the bat suit because it does look like a bat, I guess. I love this. It's so CEO-ish. I'm far from being a businesswoman, so like, but we can always pretend and dream because why not? You have to exude the kind of energy you want back. So this was the 
the jacket. When I first bought this, this wouldn't close in the middle part at all. So yeah, I just used this to hide um, the fat as well. But now it does more than that. So yeah, here you go. CEO, Madam Boss. Woo! And for our last clothing item, we have activewear. Okay, let's be real. I did not exercise for the longest time. I don't know, since I was a child, I never did go to the gym. I never exercised. And especially at my peak weight, I obviously didn't exercise. But when I did start exercising, it was so freaking hard to buy activewear. Like sports bra wise, oh my god. <sighs> like just thinking about it gives me chills. It was so hard because I couldn't look for sports bras that were useful but at the same time stylish or at least inclined to my style. So I ended up buying the ones that were just purely for the support and the use because I really needed that extra support because I was doing hit at this point and there were only a few stores that I could buy one that fit me and it was so hard and they were the super expensive ones too so holy crap like I'm not dissing the company by the way I still love their stuff I'm wearing one of their stuff right now it's just that nothing could fit me anywhere else and the designs that they have were the only ones that fit me and those were the designs I didn't like at all so yeah you just gotta make do the same with the leggings oh my god so i bought the cheaper ones because i spent so much on the freaking sports bras and i wasn't even sure at that point if, if i was gonna pull through so yeah i just bought the cheap leggings that you could buy you know in some other cheaper stores that i will not name drop they did fit me they were the only ones that could fit me because even the activewear stores they didn't really have ones that were my size that looked flattering or good enough so I just went for the ones that I could buy that were cheap and could fit me but I didn't like them at all. They easily loosened up after a few washes but I just had to deal with them because there was essentially nothing I could buy. First of all, I really am not a big fan of um, sports bras that exactly look like their name, a bra. Um, and this one is exactly like that. I just don't like this shape or this kind of sports bra. And I hate the color. There's just nothing in it that redeems it for me, except that it's supportive enough, so it's really more of usage. This tiger leggings, it was cute the first time I wore it because it's like, motivation, let's go, you're a tiger, you got this. The longer I wore it, the uglier it got. I love tigers by the way, so I feel so annoyed. And I'm so glad I don't need to wear these kinds of bras anymore. Like, thank God. Trying some old fat clothes made me realize that for the most part, I mainly bought them because they were the ones that fit me and flattered me enough. But what made me proud was to see that I still chose clothes that I liked instead of just resigning myself to buying clothes that fit me but weren't my style at all. I still experimented and went all out despite my limited choices due to my weight. It just so happens now that weight loss has granted me access to experiment more and go with different varieties in terms of style that I couldn't try before. In fact, my style hasn't changed that much. <laughs> like, I still love most of the old clothes I have. I still love my florals, I still love my colors. I still like to dress up a bit edgy but girly at the same time or a bit dainty or something like that. I still love it. I still love my jackets and I'm colder now because that's what happens apparently when you lose weight. We can talk about that in a different video, but yeah. But I could just pick out more clothes and more stuff at a cheaper price. <laughs> because the Lord knows if you're fat, it's so hard to look for cheap clothes. They're always the ones that are expensive or you have to at least shop at expensive clothes because they're the only ones who have your size. I don't shame my fat body at all. When I was fat, I was truly confident and bold to go with my style, to go all out and to try all these different things. I don't actually mind wearing my old fat clothes again just as a smaller size of course and i also don't mind keeping them they're both a reminder of my past self and what i could do with pure hard work and determination and also discipline more than anything refitting my old fat clothes made me proud of who i was like girl you tried your best and still slayed in the ways that you can who i am and what i have achieved thus far and who i can be wherever the hell i'll be strutting in 
that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've lost the weight or if you're gaining weight and have problems in terms of your fashion or whatever problems or whatever things or issues you've had to deal with in fashion-wise, please do comment down below and share your stories and let's have a conversation. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Babush! I don't even, do I, do I even have a boyfriend?